But it hasn't been really on the road for 20 years, that yellow one. Yeah, it's been, yeah, because I bought it 20 years ago. So we're about 250 miles from home. Now getting them home is the issue. We brought these items underneath our parts car here. It don't sound bad no. at all for 20 years sitting. No, it's fine. Doing brakes out in the wild. Your rotor has a seat and obviously it's cold, so. Ah, nice and toasty. She's sketchy, but we're gonna send it just because for everybody's viewing pleasure, please enjoy me pulling a javelin with a javelin and a javelin and watch me go like a javelin into the uh, dip. of the puzzle. Look at these front fenders. Yeah. A little bit here. It used to be a final top pair. Look at that. Oh, look at the cool foam shifter. Let's see if we got catfished or not. It's two for Tuesday. Here at the strip club. Yeah. Hey, how's it going? Good. All right, we got Jeff right here, so we're gonna talk to him, and we'll see you in about five. So you're the salesman, then. You got the you got these, the good these, one. These were my cars. Were they? Yeah. Yeah, I bought them 20 years ago. My dad uh, in the towing and body shop business. Okay. And he sold his business. Oh, and then these. So I don't have room to keep them now, and I need to get rid of them. I've got. I had ideas for them, you know, but yeah, you know. There, to, you could probably save that quarter and put it on the other one. Is the I, other one pretty bad? It's pretty bad. Is it? Okay. Yeah, I, I that was my idea. I was going to use this quarter to patch together another one. This one's front. This driver's side front fender is really nice. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty decent. That's fender. a really good fender. Well, we maybe we'll do some switch and while we're on. while we're working on it. And then this one looks like it has both headlight buckets, and the other one was missing one. Just the headlight, I Just believe. the headlight? Yeah. Okay. But it hasn't been really on the road for 20 years, that yellow one. Yeah, it's been, yeah, because I bought it 20 years ago from a kid in town and in Omaha. Yeah. Because it, I had my eyes on it. There's the, there's the man of the hour. It. Yeah, yeah. No, it's good to be. Hi, I'm Jimmy Howell. I'm Jimmy. I'm Call me Roadkill. I'm the original Roadkill. The Roadkill man himself. He's Roadkill. 18 and I'm 56. <laughs> we took the time to watch all your stuff. And it's pretty if cool. If you get bored, I need a motor in that Camaro. <laughs> grass underneath. It's been sitting on the ground. Yeah, it's been sitting for a long time. I think definitely the other one by far the body is way better. Yeah, it is. This one's got some. She's a hot rod. She's got headers. She's got the old leaf spring extenders from the 70s. Yeah. She's got the chrome rings on her. Missing all the chrome. racetracks in my life and I used to get to the finals and the guys would always argue he likes you more than you and he's gonna give you this lane and that lane and I'd be like Bobby and Joey and get up here spin it to find out what lane you get and people would be like this oh well you should do you should go over and buy that i-29 dragway I owned it for years did you I sold it in 15 to guys really yeah that was me Oh, no this ice cream cruise, you ever read yeah. it? Oh, Kyle, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I got him over there. Oh, no. He was 13 when he started shooting video for me. I got more stories than you guys will ever know. And Kyle and I are speed dial best friends, right? Cody's yeah. bringing me a motor for the Corvette today, or for the Camaro. But anyway, you're an interesting guy. I can't wait to talk to you more if you if you have any questions. Hey, I'm around. They're, they're the workers. So, we're about 250 miles from home. 
and uh, I saw this guy surfing old interwebs and not an AMC guy at all not even close not even remotely have I had anything other than a Chrysler it's kind of kind of close uh, we won't say the price but we got two for the price of one AMC Javelins 1974 both the pair okay so now getting them home is the issue so we brought these items underneath our parts car here because that parts car has a lot better body than of course the runner does both of these vehicles have been in this man's possession for 20 years. They have not seen the road in 20 years. Obviously, that one's probably been a lot longer than that. But this guy hasn't even ran in 20 years. We are going to try to get this fellow running, get a hitch mounted to this somehow, when it doesn't even have really floors, and mount a tow bar on that one, and hopefully get it home in two days. It's not looking good, but let's, let's take a walk around this fella. Setting-wise, these gentlemen are super awesome and uh, they, this was actually in the back 40 all the way back there in the junkyard and they grabbed their ramp truck and pulled it up here and said, hey, if you guys need anything, let us know. So it's an auto, you know, working shop and everything, so that's nice. I did say, you know, we wanna make this as hard as possible on ourselves, so we do not wanna use the shop unless we absolutely have to. If we need anything, it's here. And uh, we also did bring a trailer, like usual, just in case. We're not like everybody else, you know, we don't wanna pay for a U-Haul when, you know, things go, downhill quickly which usually they do for us especially let's look at the parts car okay, first let's look at the parts car okay so as you'll see it's got head hinges but it's got power brakes it's got like a bunch of new brake parts in it which we're probably gonna need because um amc you can't really get parts for and uh, very hard sourcing those items this one has a really good front fender and actually in a hole this one is not terrible for a 70s vehicle we're probably going to use a lot of this one to cut it up put it on top of that one and here comes the title right now this one's Bill Sam. That's fine. That's me. Okay. That's that's me. That's when I got it done. Okay. Why don't I why don't I get it so I can listen to it run first? That's cool. And then I'll bring you the cap. That's cool. And you know, worst case scenario, you have a running car and we go home. Oh, it'll it'll run. All right. We got a nice mirror. We've got a perfect mirror so you can see who the problem is in your life. Oh, <laughs> so let's just step right in. The other one doesn't have a door latch, so we're just. I just talked about that. We're just gonna throw all of this into that one. Um, this one has a better floor. I'm gonna use this as my poker. That one doesn't have a floor. Uh, this one has a better console. That one's console is broken. So here's gonna be a lot of items that we need to transfer over to this because, in my eyes, what I'd really like to do is just make one out of two and then we'll just tow it with the shell home. We're gonna do what we don't want to do to most vehicles. Scrap yard. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we'll probably sell them both as a pair when we get home. So if you guys want a hump fender javelin, hit us up, PM us, DM us, do what you want. Um, or we'll do a deal here. If you guys have enough subscribers, enough likes, enough comments on the next video, we'll give both these away. Um, I know they're not very pretty, but it'll be a great starter project for one of your young guys. Um, and then you and uh, your son or you and your daughter, you and your whatever can uh, have a project together. So if we get 20,000 subs? Let's say we get 400,000 views and 20,000 subs by February 1st. Okay, you heard the guy. There we so, go. February 1st, we'll give these away if this gets 400,000 views, um, as well as uh, that 20,000 sub mark. So one of you guys can have a javelin and it will be in the best condition we could promise it can be in after this video. So if they're in the ditch, uh, you probably won't get them. Dash is really good, really good. Every So honestly, this part starts a lot better than that car we would be almost intelligent just to put that drivetrain in this one just due to the fact that that one is rough this one's a lot i know it doesn't look better on camera it looks terrible on camera just because it's not colored like that one this one is the nicer car i know we'll have some goods back there see if we can, I saw some keys on the floor let's see if we get lucky if it seems like we're in a hurry that's because we are oh not uh, this looks like uh from the cars like rusties yeah it does that's pretty cool okay here's another one. Oh. oh. let's not look <laughs> <laughs> all right let's go to the next car let's just, let's just open up the old what everybody wants to see we're gonna let some people down you amc fans you're gonna wish this was a 390 or a 401 or one second uh, okay, the first fight's over we figured out how they have this wire set up going on which it's good she actually locks it's a speed hole that's that hood needs to go on this one. Okay, Look anyways. how giant that is. It's that like a be, castle. It's almost like an air compressor, literally. Well, oh, dude, look at this new coil they got here. That's from a Ford. Okay, so AMC's, if, if I'm not mistaken, 
again, y'all can tell me if I'm wrong, are basically just a hodgepodge of every other company other than really their engines. And uh, I was told the rear end as well. It could be wrong. It could be a Mopar rear end, as far as I know. This uh, this is very Ford-like. This is an original, but that's from a Ford. Other than that, this thing is extremely complete underneath the hood. We've even got used to have cruise control. That's that big old canister, I'm pretty sure. Looks like something has been going on with these brakes, whether it be good or bad. That one has a power brake set up. That time, we just go. We gotta use this one for now. We'll make a decision when we get back home. All in all, decent car. It smells like it's sat outside for 35 years, not 20. It smells actually very typical for every old car I've ever been in. It smells like mothballs, which is my favorite, brings back childhood memories. Keys don't work, the steering wheel is loose. Is there anything good actually at that? Oh, there's a dead mouse. Actually, that's just poop. Yeah, that's just I poop. I think that's raccoon poop. Probably cat poop, so I'll at least have a large reaction this week. There's some Bondo in her. You know what, that's a new, Someone put in a new quarter at that one point. Damn, my man. Then we just got a bunch of extra parts. We've got some boxes. Like, oh my gosh. It's actually got the speaker. You know, I think we have a lot of value here. Um, but we're also, uh, we're also, you know, prices are up. And in my eyes, together, this should be $1,500. And uh, we're just going to say it's not $1,500. Um, times are getting different, boys and girls. It takes a little bit more money to have fun now, sadly. We'll make the best out of it. Let's tell you what we're going to do first is we are going to throw a battery in it, get it to maybe turn over because there's so much stuff. On the front of this motor, I cannot get my hand in there. Um, I could probably put a ratchet on there really quick, which we might do and turn it over, but that flex flame is just going to be in the way. I'm just going to go ahead and send it. We'll throw some new battery cables on it right away, and then we will see if we can get her to turn over it's full oh yeah but it's it's very dark and very uh watered down so we're gonna want to probably change that right away and someone's gonna have to run and get an oil filter because i'm slow it looks like a motocraft oh it's a motocraft <laughs> that means it's definitely gonna leak out of the accelerator pump like 190 percent sure these little accelerator pumps always leak So right now, I'm just going through the back of this thing and getting all the scrap out because it was literally full. So what I've been doing is, uh, so we went ahead, and if you look at those plugs right by Alex there, we did bring a new set of plugs with us. Um, something I wanted to give you guys a tech tip on. Obviously, I'm sure a lot of you guys do this a lot more than us. But take your new plugs, and I always put them next to each other. And I put it on the washer, the flush washer, and this guy, or the the head and the tip make sure that's the same make sure your threads are the same one time a parts gentleman at the counter sold me the wrong ones and they're too long went into the cylinder and punched a pit, uh, piston and they ended up buying me some stuff because you know, technically they didn't listen um it was also my fault mainly because uh, i didn't check and i was a young guy back then probably 13 years old so if you're young watch this video make sure you just make sure everything's the same all right and then i also jacked up the back of this took off the flat tire and put on one of our <laughs> ones that we brought and holy crap <laughs> it looks yeah this is mad maxin bro we do have to change out the other ones if we're gonna potentially tow this behind us so when you make a scrap pile this gentleman's nice enough to take all the scrap from these vehicles uh, just keeping it back there right and now we've got a lot of stuff to go through actually some reading to do i see a couple books yeah, they look pretty good when we're sitting on the side of the road i hope there's twilight in there We are getting ready to connect the car to some power right now. So we may need to change to a longer cable because our, lar our a Largo Bartory can't take it. Good news is, is nothing's on fire yet. You know, we're just gonna do the honors. I'm just gonna go hit the key, see what happens. Oh, too easy. Is it moving? Yep. Heck yeah. Oh, and I hear snapping. Yeah, I hear spark too. Go ahead again. Yep. Blue spark. Okay. Well, boys and girls, you don't get this lucky every day. I'm just going to be honest with you. We did have a 2022 battery, so Jeff, the gentleman that sold to us, might have been playing around with this, um, which is phenomenal. 
So this already puts us ahead of schedule. We are gonna go get a coil that is correct for this. Rather, so we can actually mount it in the same spot <laughs> rather than that kind of rigged thing. We'll put this cap back on. These wires are toast. Like absolute garbage. They're auto lights probably from the 80s. We'll get those changed out real quick. Alex is gonna do the worst possible thing and check the master cylinder. Um, she has stuff. She has stuff, but supposedly. Not so the back brakes don't have any fluid, the front brakes have fluid in them. I can never get this to focus, I'm sorry guys. But she is there, but these are old plugs, man. I mean, they're platinum Bosch's, so maybe they're not too terribly old, but she was, I think she was running a little rich. So we got some looking to do. This vehicle, I told the gentleman, if it doesn't have a knock um, and basically turns over, we're gonna buy it. I know that's not the right way to do things, but when you have a deal with actually really nice people, they're kind of cool with that because uh, then they have a running vehicle. Might knock, but at least it runs. Um, and we did all the work to get it running. We're gonna check this spark plug that I have out. I'm not sure if it's number one. I'm gonna, sorry guys, I'm gonna do a bunch of research after this so I can actually start, you know, understanding. I'm gonna have Alex turn it over and we're gonna hope that we're good to go. Yep, good. We're turning over a little slow. I wonder if our old AGM's a little slow or we just got a little bit of a little bit of gunk around. Go, 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 go bar. The go-go bar? Yep. Don't spend it all in one titty. <laughs> Shit, then you'd have one for life, probably. Oh, wait a minute. No, we're getting some work. Holy ah. shit, did just come out of it? You're, it's doing better than what it was doing for me. Yep, I can hear it. That's this back right one. I can't tell because there's a bunch of shit in front of it. Yeah, it's spewing. Inside. Inside of it? Yeah. But, so that means the master cylinder is pushing fluid. So that's good. We are now draining the oil. Oil is being dropped. I'm an idiot. I forgot to buy a filter. So we're going to have to pray that they have it somewhere. It should just be like a 51515, which is your very typical filter for most old cars. Only situation right now we're fighting is, sounds like uh, a ticky time bomb under the valve cover. We're hoping to get it so it actually will stay running long enough for us to assess what's going on. The only other good news is brake lines are good. All right, so currently it is around 11 o'clock and uh, kind of some poor uh, luck so far on the brake system, which we desperately need. It is both calipers on the parts car and the good car. Both have their bleeders. One's missing and the other one, the bleeders broke off. So we're gonna play victim of chance and continue to work on the one without the bleeders and see if we can get that caliper functioning again, which is gonna be us kind of playing with uh, adding fluid into it and seeing if we can push brake and get any fluid in there um, and, and just pray basically is what's gonna happen there. Um, and then, so I also forgot to get a filter, going to get a filter now and also going to see if we can maybe source a, at least one front caliper. I'd kill for at least that. The only other issue is that the rear brakes, um, since we have all the wrong parts, we might not have parts for it. So gotta check on that too. All right. I knew it was upside down. You move! Sean, we've got a crowd. Yeah, human beings. <laughs> Kill my style here, bud. Supposed to be in a field right now. Okay. Let's uh. So we drain the oil, 
filled okay. back up. We need to get our bearings back. Okay, oil drain, new filters in, new battery. Uh, new hood. New hood, <laughs> new front parts car. New yeah. uh, rear trunk lid. Um, all the door hardware. So I was gone for a while and they got a lot done. Does this work? Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. oh yeah. So much better. We still need to patch the floor, but all of this is really for nothing unless we can get those brakes working. That's it. That's what we got for you guys. We're gonna try to get it to idle because it did sound like typewriter really badly. Um, and if we can get her to, to idle, I'm gonna feel a lot better about her purchase. If not, that guy right there is taking it. <laughs> oh, sick. <laughs> this don't sound bad no. at all for 20 years sitting. No, it's fine. <laughs> all right, so this sucker, I was worried it sounded like a typewriter, and it did sound like a typewriter. But now, I think she converted herself to a sewing machine, baby. We're uh, fighting right now. The accelerator pump on that is trashed, which um, we did know about. So we brought that guy, because in the text, that guy's like, oh, well, uh, I think that motorcraft car was junk. So I brought the Holly just in case. So we may just end up throwing the Holly on. The only thing I hate to do about throwing the Holly on is then we got a lot of linkages um, we need to then kind of figure out what we're doing with it. The only one I really care about is this guy. But I also really like to have the kick down cable not ah. fucked up. I'm gonna get to switching this out. If uh, Alex right now is on the phone trying to find accelerator pump and the lower uh, the lower gasket for this carb. And if we can find those and they have those, I'd kind of rather just put a new accelerator pump gasket in this and then lower. And then we can just clean this guy out because the top comes off and uh, see how dirty it is, back it out. And I bet this thing would run like a top, even though these are kind of poopy carbs, but oh well. You know, we wouldn't need brakes if we had a manual, so why ain't you buy a manual? Yeah, you need a manual. <laughs> you need a force paint. Or, or a boat anchor. Or a boat oh, anchor. Oh, there we go. Throw the anchor outside the car. Yeah. <laughs> when you're going down the interstate, stay that boat anchor. Oh, yeah. Hey, there's no hub. Oh, that's why that blew out. <laughs> what? Oh, my land. <laughs> the other one has a drum. You know what sucks? What? Is this would have worked? It just blew out because it overextended. Ah. Uh, it's all right. Can you put it back together? Uh, no, I think she. We have extra ones. Yeah, that's we, one thing. We I bought a bunch prepared. of parts. You did so. say you were going to grab some. I did bring some brake parts. Doing brakes out in the wild, you use your, your rotor as a seat, and then obviously it's cold, so. And then your booty. Ah, warm. nice and toasty. Nice and toasty. Well, right now we're heating up the, the brake line because uh, we don't want to break that. <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and change this wheel cylinder out. Just do the fact that we have it. We have one, and why not? This is a really like I've never seen a fill neck right there. You know, the Camaros have it like a little higher up, right? So it's just weird that it's like horizontal. It's really hard to put gas in here. So we've got another funnel from nice, nice Jeffrey. Yeah, here I'm walking down the street, coming back from the river with my fishing poles. And I didn't have, no, I threw everything back. The carload of chicks, do you need a ride? And I said, no. And I pointed the block away. I only got to go there. And today I'm like, you dumb fucker. You dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Carload of girls in a Thunderbird. No. I screwed that up. All right, so we got this pretty sign. And it's going to be our new floor because uh, we don't have one. We're going to take some measurements, cut that sign apart, and uh, fix this floor with some self-tappers, just like the race car, right? Hey, pull that headlight switch. Yes. Is it going any further? Oh, it turned on randomly. So tell us about how hard it is to get anything for this car. This is why, again, I'm going to say this for the second time in the video, this is why these cars aren't ever worked on on YouTube, because you can't get parts in a quick manner. People like us don't plan ahead very far. I'm sure if we plan pretty far ahead on this, like if we bought this six months ago and just now showed up, I'm sure we'd be fine. But uh, since we're kind of a quick and on it unit, this is our issue, is that we can't find parts for it. The good news is we've got a good running vehicle. 
and a lot of nice people around us. And that's uh, that's the main goal in life. We at least have rear brakes now. We have rear brakes, which is the good news. Um, so basically, I'm throwing this Holly Carb on. We're gonna have to get a little bit more rubber line to wrap around. And once we have that, I'm sure we'll have a really good running vehicle. And then we can just take it for road test and see since we have back brakes, we might just send it without uh, the front brakes. Yep, just looking to get in the zone. All right, maybe we'll be right back. We have maybe functioning brake lines. After we went to the store, I bought from the store, do not clear the spindle, so ended up just taking a drill bit. And uh, I don't recommend this to anybody, but we got to get home at some point in life. So uh, we just went ahead and we took a drill bit, this guy to be exact, drilled through the clog. <laughs> Whether it stays together or not, we're unsure, but uh, it's better than nothing at this point. We did lose headlights, so that's a battle we're still now going to have to fight. All right, folks, here's what we got going on. We have our boat tank hooked up. We cannot get the sucker to pull gas from the tank. Not a big deal. Worst case scenario, we will put the tank in the passenger seat and run it. We're running out of daylight quick. The nice gentleman here said that they might have a spot for us in the, the shop. We do have back brakes and we do have forward and reverse, which is fantastic. We're pressurizing the, uh, the fuel line to push fuel back. And you can hear this building pressure. Uh, so that way we can blow out the sock or blow out whatever's clogging the line. There we go. So it's obviously the fuel line is now unclogged. We did push it the, probably the wrong way. So now I'm going to come back here with the same tool and kind of try to clog it with my hand so it can build pressure going back towards the fuel pump. And then once we replace the fuel pump, we'll be back in action. But right now, that's what we're doing. Whether it be the right thing or wrong thing, I don't know. We're just testing stuff. That's kind of cool. Darn. It's good we have one of those yeah. now. Hopefully it's for the right thing. That's the, his pump we spent 305 We probably just spent about an hour on this fuel pump. Oh my lanta. It's literally like in the worst spot. It just sucks. I'm so sad. See, look, look how tight everything is. It's tight like oil. We, so we could have taken the power steering pump off, but why would you want to drain all that nice fluid out that costs money and then we're over budget and everything sucks? <gasps> Good. Oh, the dip sticks off in here. Blowing tranny fluid out. I think that's all it is. Tranny fluid on the manifold. Yeah. Boy, that's a stupid. locking up.
passenger rear, the one you fixed. All right, guys, it is the next morning, as much as we hate to say it, and we are in the, the gentleman's lift. As much as we hate to say it, brake system is fighting us tooth and nail, mostly because you cannot get any brake parts for this readily available at all. So here's our situation here. This fella locking up because basically the line's not letting the fluid flow, uh, flow back to the master cylinder. Okay, we knew this line was bad, but we fought with it for probably, we fought with these for like probably three, four hours. That was most of our day yesterday fighting brake lines. If we cannot get this working with its parts we have, we are out of luck. Our parts car does not have good brake lines, good calipers either. So at this point right now, we are gonna pull basically all the tires off, get inside that guy and get that drum brake re-rebuilt because I got into it yesterday and I didn't think I was gonna need the parking brake cable adjuster, but I do, so we're gonna go grab that off the parts car. Our only chance I think is gonna be to get these front brakes blocked off. So I'm just gonna probably run it out of fluid for the front, which really sucks. And then we will just go for the back. And we wouldn't need the shop, but he offered, so. Yeah, <laughs> we, would, we usually wouldn't use the shop, but uh, as it's the same reason why we bring a trailer, you never know what happens. And right now it is about 15 degrees out there and it's a godsend for us to for us to have such a kind gentleman uh, hosting us here today. So um, other than that, the Javelin is looking really pretty. We've got some, we've got the, the rims and tires on it that make it look, uh, I, I'd say it almost gives it a Mad Max vibe. If we had a blower sticking up, it'd be awesome. Time to throw on the 671. I know it's gonna be a really sweet car. I don't know what we'll end up doing with it. Sadly, I like it more and more every time we come and take a gander at it. So let's get at this brake system. <laughs> So you can definitely tell this sat, <clears throat> the flattened head right there. Yeah. <laughs> it's all the grass. In reality, underneath is actually pretty decent. Yeah, it's not too bad for, for being board. super close to the ground for forever. Like, it should be rotted. Well, I mean, you got that. Boop. But. <laughs> this, this freaking transmission just drives a mill. Yeah. Especially That's that. crazy. You know what trans this is? It's supposed to be a Mopar A5118 or it's a 727. I don't know. AMC guys, help me out here, but supposedly, oh, I think that is their own rear end because that doesn't look like a that doesn't look like a Mopar rear end to me, so that must be their own design. Oh, look at this. You got bleed down on there too. Fight. Oh, look at that shock. Just hang out. Way down. Way down. Just hanging out. Okay. No, we bought it here in our, in our channel. We have to get it running here and yeah, really. drive it home. Yeah. So, yep, it's a uh, work in progress. It's been a fighter. What? Well, satisfying getting it done. I don't know about that. It'll be something. <laughs> we still got to drive about 200 miles. So. Oh yeah, so you still got a little trip. Yep, we still got to break down the side of the road three times. Yeah. So. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, Appreciate yeah, it. Have a good one. Cool. So something we saw on TikTok. The vacuum. Let it rip <laughs> and it won't flow. Alright, turn off. Maybe it wasn't the right side pitch. Alright, let it rip again. Off. Okay. Here is what we are doing. These two lines are collapsed inside or were collapsed inside, and that's what was uh, fighting us because. The, I think the calipers are working on the old girl. We weren't allowing fluid to go back to the master, which was causing it, the piston in there to just stick. No, I'm not saying that these aren't gonna be stuck once we start messing with them, but we made this. Uh, it's like an auger. A little auger. It's kind of like, well, you shoving your toilet careful, you don't stick your hand. We've been shoving that through there and we got a couple different clogs out. Now this probably won't work. I, I don't know if I'd recommend this, only in a pinch, just because these, 
these are extremely rare brake lines and so that's the same length and it's all the way through right now and we are collapsed here and here again i'm not saying that this is going to work but you'll see here in a couple seconds if it does and if it does work we are back in business so we ran that for about a minute and a half straight until we started feeling a little bit of heat so maybe just maybe we got that rubber to uh, stay in the same shape in there and then we put air through it and then we blew air through it for a couple different ways so you gotta do what you gotta do when uh <laughs> we're getting ready to bleed these suckers we got these lines plumbed out we have these calipers lubricated and heated and beat on and smacked both sides so and then the rear is ready to go as well i'll tell you what happened why the rear was locking up it was because we had the wrong rotor on it we found the rotors in the trunk and we thought that uh those that was the rotor for it and i'm an idiot it didn't seat all the way let's say this diameter was wrong and now it is the correct rotor from the parts car both sides now have new wheel cylinders in them this is our best possible chance to have at least rear brakes and the best possible chance we're going to have front brakes all right go ahead first pedal go ahead Press it. Oh, release it. Press it. Release it. Oh my gosh. Oh. It's starting to work. Oh no, something just blew out on the back. Whoa, the new wheel cylinder broke. Oh, that one's working too. Wait a minute. Push the brake. We've got front brakes. To the ground. To the ground. To the ground. Pray for me. Turn on the AC. Oh, it's already on. <laughs> Is it poopy? Transmission slips, uh, and uh, she just the fluid in it? No, I didn't. Well, I did, and it was good. I think you should look at it, too. We both looked at it. Probably add a little bit of fluid. Well, we just saw that spill. I, I didn't Oh, look. shit. Check. Okay. Check it again. I was thinking it was full enough to come even come out of there, but... Other than that, it's fantastic. 
most likely make it 25 miles. 25 miles. <laughs> those uh, those leaf spring extenders make it so sketchy. It just goes like, oh, I bet. And these tires are too wide, they rub it. So as long as I don't turn it all, we'll be fine. We're gonna get her on the road and just let her eat. With the water read. Not 100 bird. somewhere. I mean, uh, back back you. somewhere. Please never do this at home. I'm pressured into doing this. The and shop guy would not leave us alone. Yeah, so we're doing this for him. It was the original intent, but yeah, with the trans and everything, how it, and, you know, well, the brakes feels, are, yeah. She's sketchy, but we're going to send it just because, <laughs> um, yeah, for everybody's viewing pleasure, please enjoy me pulling a javelin with the javelin and the javelin and watch me go like a javelin into the uh, ditch. I had to end up pulling the gas tank out, and uh, now our 70s muscle car vibe with our extended leafs is going to be, uh, we're going to be putting her to work, and it's time. It's time to get sketchy. I'm not 100% on this idea just because this girl's first test drive was to be desired, but I think uh, Trevor here, he convinced us to just give her a good old send. That's what happens when you call uh, grown men pussies. You just you just start not thinking correctly and you just send it. We're gonna mount up and then we are running out of time. Wanna definitely get home before dark. Probably be home right at dark at this point since we're in the middle of winter. I'm gonna package everything up, bring my truck up, and by the time they get back, we'll be ready to hit the road. Is this your last supper? My daughter this is it. started doing it. Oh. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Let's let's see this. That is oh yeah, he's crazy. Will it make it? Did you say we're crazy? Yeah. There you go. We're crazy. Yeah, we're crazy. <laughs> that old you like the setup? Yeah, I love it. You know what it reminds me of? The Mexicans from IA. <laughs> hey, I'm serious. I was playing a video. I was trying to see it to you. You think you think I'm lying? Four fours together with one of those. Four. <laughs> we need a little bit more train fluid and then I think we'll be uh, green light. We're not going to wait though, we're just going to send it. Put her to the floor and let her eat. That's what we say. <laughs> Yeah, the steering wheel's locked. Oh no. Oh, there's a key on the ground. That looks like a damn GM key. Got I could just take the saws on, cut the steering wheel linkage. What's that? Slide that. Oh. oh, of course. Come on, grip strength of a cameraman. It looks like a top, I'm just saying. Maiden voyage. <laughs> Why aren't they straightening out?
Bring the trailer. Look at the skid marks. Damn, bro, this is fuck. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> dude. The cross off. Jesus. <laughs> Jeff, that's his ah. turn now. That was carnage, bro. Well, you know, look at Hey, we can we can go find a boat now. Oh my gosh, let's go find a boat. Hey, does anybody have a boat for sale? <laughs> All right. You know what? This didn't get too badly messed up, though. Not for doing all that. Yeah. That was a lot of time we spent on that for 110 foot. No compression I took 10 Mexicans to Florida for the hurricane. Oh. <laughs> All the Bondo. Oh. NGK. Daily Driven Death Traps on YouTube. That's, that's the YouTube channel? Yeah. Daily Driven Death Traps? Yes, ma'am. That was the break. Yeah. Bro, you've got a crowd out there. It's Somebody was already like thirty-five hundred dollars. Is that what he said? Just money <laughs> right yeah. I'm not playing. Oh well, I'm not either. You can go get it. I'll even give you a second one. How about that? For thirty-five hundred? For thirty-five hundred? Well, unless you want it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, we got the other one on the trailer over there. Come on. <laughs> you name it. Are you guys the ones that um, we go out in the field and find the junk car and fix it? Is that Basically, you guys? yeah. Yep. We did so we did a video at an auto zone down in Fulton, Missouri. Yeah. We did an engine swap in the parking lot. Oh really? And it, it was a Dodge truck, yep. <laughs> so we got another one camping out in the field. Yeah, we did. <laughs> yeah, we we... So yeah, you gotta do what you gotta do. Mobile filling station. I got set up. <laughs> we got one gallon tank, so every uh, 12 miles we'll have to fill up. Oh, it's so gonna take a while. The gas tank doesn't work. No, it's actually in the other car. Do you have to go with this? Only 200 miles, so 20 times. It's okay. We'll just, we'll just do it every other stop sign. You want to see how we patch the floor, though? <laughs> Where'd you get that? Gibbs. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going 200 miles where you get from? So we're in Central Iowa. Yeah, boom, it starts okay. It's always in an auto parking lot, dude. Yeah. No, it's not a chicken hawk. It's just a hawk. Quick update for you guys. We lost our tail car. Pretty dramatically. We'll see it. But we are on the road with the OG javelin, I'll call it. And uh, she's a bumpy ride. But we're holding 45, the temp's good, the oil pressure that we don't have hooked up is good, and the voltage is good. So we're just going to keep motoring along, basically mile 249 right now, I have slight carbon dioxide poisoning. I gotta do something, because I have, I'm already feeling sick, honestly, is how bad the carbon dioxide poisoning is. So, trying to figure out, I think it's coming from the floorboard, obviously that's... Um, messed up. I'm gonna go to my truck and get one of my shirts. I'm gonna tie a shirt around my mouth too Until we can get to another town and maybe I can stop and get an actual mask. Upon that, everything else is doing decent. I don't know if we have any drift or anything. We got one small drip and I don't even know what it is so I'm not gonna look. Alright, let's do this. Switch tanks, so we have the five gallon working now. Um, nothing, uh, nothing crazy. A couple of things. The heater started working, which is awesome, as well as uh, a couple other little things inside. So we're staying warm, 
but the carbon monoxide, you see the rub. This is probably not good enough for, uh, you know, on all honesty to stay safe from it. So taking a couple uh, breathing breaks outside, um, trying to patch the floor with a ah! ton of carpet, but, uh, <laughs> You're in a nap behind the wheel because of carbon monoxide is poison. You see this thing fly off the road, it's not because of the car. Well, it is because of the car. Not about why it is. <laughs> what do you think so far, though? We're loving it. It looks cool. It looks, it looks really cool. Alex is one stop away from sewing his Camaro and keeping the main seat. You don't see any, any of these around. So. so this is, well, so we did, we never talked about this, but there's only 27,427, something close to that. Honestly, um, made in 1974. We have two of them. So, um, they're pretty rare cars, if you think about it, compared to, you know, Mustangs, Camaros, and even, probably even Challengers. Well, I was just saying, like, we've been to several meets, and I don't think I've seen any Javelin. Who knows, maybe we'll keep them now. That's cool. Oh yeah, we also did this. We ruined the tank, but gained uh, some time on the road. All right, Sean and I trade places because he's starting to get a pretty big headache because of the carbon dioxide. So hopefully I don't crash this thing. Oh, I can tell now. So he said the throttle sticks a little bit, so you just got to blip it a little bit. And it just stuck for me like in the first couple seconds I've been driving. Oh, it's sticking right now, it's cruise control. Huh, all right. Not bad. So we are about 78 miles away from home still. Are we? I thought we were 114. Mine's the 78. Oh. An hour and 30 minutes still. At normal speeds. We're also sticking mad throttle. So we need to probably put another one on. Probably just take this one off. Oh, what about this one? There's one sitting here. Yeah, that's the one I'm putting on now. Okay, well there's that portion of the issues. Um, I'm going to turn the key to see if we can hear that. Uh, that fuel pump running. Feel it. I think so, yeah. Alright. Well, it is now completely dark. We're still making our merry way. I'm pretty sure the the throttle spring helped. I guess there was a line that was pinched or something was going on. Both of those are fixed and we are still going hard. God, that thing looks good. <laughs> Is that for me? I don't think so. Oh my God. Man. I think it's been like that. I think it's like that. <clears throat> I was like, holy shit. Oh, yeah. Somebody died. I think this is taking a long ass time. <laughs> yeah, just uh, five gallons at a time. Well, and I probably didn't need to stop, but we're we're right at the 50 mile mark. So we're just going to push it the rest of the way home. Um, so that would give, if we're getting 10 miles a gallon, that would get us exactly 50 miles. Home. <laughs> yeah. So, um, but we also have a little boat tank back here so we can hook it up. It'd be sweet with a blower. Put a blower on her and. Put a hole in the hood, blower. Be mad max. Put a wing on the back. Oh yeah. Oh, that would be sweet. Yeah. Freaking. Oh no, it's up on the hood. It's up on the roof. Well, these already have like the factory. Yeah, little... you can just put one on the hood, on the back. I think it's the coolest thing with the hump fenders and then the factory little rough spoiler. Yeah. This is so neat. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Very neat car. It would be kind of neat if it's Jensen. Or maybe we can see him find a Jensen interceptor now. That would be sweet. Good luck with that. That's, I've only seen one in my life. <laughs> you know how long that guy looked for that Mad Max when he finally found the junk? You can't see anything, but we freaking made it. The old Javelin 
killed it. I'm gonna be honest with you, this thing is way too good. Honestly, for how much work we put into it, for sitting for 15 to 20 years, I, it's almost unbelievable. Unbelievable. We got heat working. Um, the only thing we have is massive amounts of carbon dioxide poisoning, which I'm probably gonna suffer from, but you'll have that. Super exciting, made it back home, 200 miles in the bucks for the javelin. I know she'd make it another 200, even to 400 if, if you really wanted to. But we made her, and that's all. We made it, pulled back in, uh, well, actually it was pretty quick timing. We ended up with, I think, around 240, 250 miles on the clock since we had to do some back road weaving since we didn't want to push the old girl. No, we did not pull the other parts car behind. But is it the end of the world? No. In reality, really what stood out to me this weekend is the amount of helping hands we had to, you know, not only helping like hands like uh, there at the last part doing the hitch and doing the receiver and all that, uh, and a nice guy named Trevor helped us, um, but it was all the kind words of encouragement. So all those guys over in Omaha, I want to shoot a big thank you to. They were absolute hype all the time. Fantastic guys. And in reality, that's what this hobby's about, is it's about having a good time with people you really don't know and uh, getting to know those uh, fellows better and hopefully establishing some friendships, even if they're far away, if uh, you know, if we're ever in that area again. But that will do it for this episode of the Junkyard Javelin. Now, going forward, we do have a list of items um, that need to be uh, taken care of if we do give this away very large list of items and uh, a large list of other items that we'd like to add on for whoever we give this to. So to reach that goal, it is your decision. You just need to like, subscribe, comment why you want this job. Um, and if we make it to our goal we spoke about, we will give this to one of you guys and we will hand deliver it and hand drive it. So unless Alex decides to buy it. So. Anyway, um, if I didn't, if that's all cut out, it was uh, it was awesome. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next one. We'll try to revive them all for you.